name is Squiglet. I love to draw a dog, a cat, a mouse, and a whole lot more. So grab your squiggle. Here. I like flying around flowers, but I'm not a butterfly or a bee. I am small though, and magic! I'm a fairy! Shall we squiggle our own fairy? What sort of line could we use? Let's have a look! <laughs> Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Now it's time to get squiggling. Let's start with our fairy's hair. We'll need a wavy line for that. Squiggle one with me. Put your squiggle stick on your squiggle pad. Go up and down. Up and down. Up and down. That's my wavy line. What's yours like? Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Now the same on the other side. Let's draw a circle for our fairy's face. With eyes. Nose, mouth, and ears. We'll need straight lines for the sides of her dress. And another wavy line at the bottom. Two arms. One. Two legs. One. Two. And fairy wings. And last of all, every fairy needs a wand. There. Beautiful. Shall we meet her? Say the magic words with me. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make our squiggles come alive. Hello, I'm Fiona. I'm a flower fairy. Hello, Fiona. I'm Squiglet. It must be lovely to be a flower fairy. Yes, most of the time. But right now, I've got a little problem. What's that? Uh, uh, uh... <coughs> a teapot. Where did that come from? Oh dear, I haven't got time to explain. I'm late for flower fairy school. Don't worry. We can squiggle flower fairy school for you. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! What do you think Flower Fairy School would look like? Let's use our wavy line again to squiggle a flower. Ready? Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. There, that's the top of our flower. Now, two curved lines at each side. One, two, three, four, five. 
two. A straight line for the stalk and two leaves. One, two. That's a lovely flower. You can colour yours in while I squiggle the rest of the fairy school. I'll do some more flowers and some trees. Right, everyone. It's magic class today. Violet, why don't you show us some flower fairy magic? Come on, magic. Don't be lazy. Let us have a gorgeous daisy. <coughs> Yay! Yay! Now your turn, Bramble. This is exciting. Come on, Magic, please don't stop. Let us have a big snowdrop. <coughs> right, Fiona, time for your magic. I can't wait to see what Fiona can do. Okay. Come on, Magic. It's... <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Brilliant! I wasn't expecting a Wellington boot. Were you? It was supposed to be a flower. But I can't get through a spell without sneezing. And then all these odd things appear. It's a very nice Wellington boot. Oh, Fiona, you can't keep cluttering up fairy school with all these giant things. You'll have to go home until your sneezes stop. Oh, okay. I'll come with you, Fiona. Do you really live in a flower, Fiona? Yes, all flower fairies do. But I'm never going to be a proper flower fairy if I keep sneezing and can't do magic like the others. So that happens every time you try to do magic? Uh, <laughs> oh dear! Well, maybe all you need is a handkerchief. We can squiggle one for you. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! We need four wavy lines for our handkerchief. Squiggle them with me. Wavy line across. Down, across, and up. A lovely handkerchief for a flower fairy. Let's add a heart shape in the middle to make it a little bit special. You can add any colours or patterns you like. I'm going to make my handkerchief green and red. have stopped your sneezes, but at least nothing strange has appeared. No, but why am I sneezing? I haven't got a cold. Dr Bluebell here, you've got hay fever. Is that bad? No, no, it's quite harmless. But you should stay away from flowers. That's what's making you sneeze. Bye-bye. But I'm a flower fairy. I live in a flower. We'll have to find you a new home. Come on! What about living in this field? It's very pretty. Yes, but I'll miss my flowers. Where will I live? How about the teapot you magicked up earlier? It's just the right size for a flower fairy. What a good idea! <sighs> I wish I had some pretty flowers. But they'll make you sneeze again. I know, but I just don't feel like a flower fairy without them. Don't worry, Fiona. There must be something we can do. Let's see if we can get a clue from the squiggle pad. There's Rachel and Kamal. 
I wonder what they're doing. They're scrunching. Rolling. And sticking. They're making paper flowers. Into the vase they go. Don't they look pretty? Those paper flowers looked beautiful in that lovely vase. And because they're paper, they won't make you sneeze. Why don't you try and magic some up? Oh, well, I suppose it's worth a try. Come on, Magic, use your powers to make me lots of paper flowers! <coughs> you're very good at magic now. And you're not sneezing, Fiona. Yes, but I haven't got anything to put my flowers in. Well, we can squiggle you a vase. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! Let's all squiggle a vase. We'll use our wavy line again for the top of the vase. Ready? Up and down. Up, down, all the way across. We can use some straight lines for the sides. Down, down, and across for the bottom of the vase. There. You can use another wavy line to make a pattern on it if you like. I'm going to colour mine in orange. What colour are you going to make yours? There. <gasps> Thanks, everyone. Come on, Magic, use your powers. Fill the vase with my paper flowers. <laughs> now I've got a lovely new home and a vase full of flowers. And no sneezes. Come on, you can do some fairy magic too. Join in with our song. Dance like a fairy on your tippy toes. Give a little wiggle of your fairy nose. Flutter your wings, come along with me. It's time to be a flower fairy. Give your wand a little shake and magic up a scrummy cake. Now Magic up a teddy bear Wave your wand nice and low To magic up some winter snow And if your magic ever goes wrong Just repeat the fairy song Dance like a fairy on your tippy toes Give a little wiggle of your fairy nose Flutter your wings, come along with me it's time to be a flower fairy. <laughs> Making magic's fun. Thanks for all your squiggles. It's time to go now, but come back to get squiggling soon. Keep on squiggling! Bye! My name is Squigglet. I love to draw. A dog? <laughs> everyone, Squiglet here. Can you guess what I'm doing? I'm playing the cymbals. And what about now? I was playing the guitar. And here's one more. That's a really big drum. 
I'm feeling musical today. What about you? <coughs> what was that? <coughs> it doesn't sound like an instrument. It's more like an elephant. Shall we squiggle our own elephant? What sort of line could we use? Let's have a look. <laughs> Line. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Now it's time to get squiggling. We can all squiggle the shape of an elephant's trunk. We'll need a curved line. Curved lines are great. Squiggle one with me. Put your squiggle stick on your squiggle pad. Let's draw a big curve. Down, curve round. And up. What's yours like? Down, curve round and up. Then a small line. Then go down, curve round and up again. Great! That's the shape of an elephant's trunk. Now we need a round line for her head. And two great Big curved lines for the elephant's ears. One. Two. A small curved line for her smiley mouth. And two eyes. One, two. We need another curved line for the body. Straight lines for the legs. And a little curved tail. I think she's ready for us to meet her. Say the magic words with me. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make our squiggles come alive. <laughs> Ellie the Elephant. Pleased to meet you, Ellie. I'm Squiglet. <coughs> wow, that really is a loud noise. Yes, but it's so loud that I've upset all the other animals where I live in Africa. Oh dear. Why don't we see where Ellie lives and then maybe we can help her? Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! It's very hot in Africa, so let's all squiggle a big sun together. We'll need a round line. Ready? We're going to curve all the way round to make a circle. There! That's my sun. Use some straight lines to make the rays of the sun, like this. Why don't you colour your son in, while I squiggle the rest of Ellie's home? There, all finished. Oh, it's lovely to be back. <coughs> and here come your friends. <coughs> Hello, everyone. It's so nice to see you. <coughs> Oh, Ellie, that's awfully loud for first thing in the morning. You'll give us a headache. Oh, I don't mean to be loud, but I can't help it. Don't worry, Ellie. Let's find somewhere you can be noisy without disturbing anyone. <laughs> What a beautiful waterfall. Just listen to the sound of all that water. Oh, yes. And it's so noisy here already, no one will mind if I make a noise. <laughs> <laughs> See? 
You're ruining the sound of our waterfall. Yes, can you please be quieter? Oh dear, I'm sorry. I'm trying to be quiet. Well, please try harder. <sighs> That's the problem. I'm not sure I know how to be quiet for very long. Don't worry. I've got an idea. I bet you don't trumpet when you're sleeping. When I'm sleeping? We could squiggle Ellie a lovely soft pillow to rest her head on. So maybe she could have a snooze. That would keep her quiet. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! We'll need our curved line again. We'll start at the top. Ready? Up, curve round and down. Now for the bottom. Down, curve round and up. I'm going to put spots on my pillow. What pattern are you going to put on yours? There, one comfy pillow. Oh, thanks everyone. I think I will have a rest. I'm worn out from all that trumpeting. Yes, a good sleep should keep your trunk quiet for a little while at least. Ellie's much quieter when she's asleep. Oh, look! A butterfly! Oh, dear. I think that might tickle. <laughs> oh, who made that noise? You did! Please, that really is terribly noisy. You're spoiling our nap. Oh, Squigglet, my trumpeting is upsetting everyone. What can I do? Don't worry. Let's see if we can get a clue from the squiggle pad. Can you help to find Ellie a good way of using her trunk? <laughs> These girls are all playing different instruments. Ethel's playing the trumpet. She's pressing the buttons to make different notes. What's Maisie doing? She's playing the drum. Aria's strumming the guitar. What lovely music. And they sound great together. Those children used instruments to make music and they all play together in a band. I wish I had my own trumpet to make musical sounds with. But you've already got one in your trunk. I have? Ba -ba 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 -ba! <sighs> I still sound very noisy on my own. If you could join a band, you could play as loud as you like. But no one has any instruments here in the jungle. Don't worry. We can squiggle them for you. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! Let's all squiggle a guitar. We'll need more curved lines for that. This curved line is going to go up, curve over and down. Up, curve over and down. There. Now another one underneath. Down. Curve under and up. Down, curve under and up. And that's the main part of the guitar. We need a circle in the middle. The same shape as the sum we squiggled earlier. Then two long straight lines for the neck. With a small rectangle at the end. And last of all, more straight lines for the strings. I'm colouring mine in purple. 
What colour are you going to make yours? While you do that, I'm going to squiggle one more instrument. A drum. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. And now let's find some friends who can join your band. Ba -ba 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 -ba! Oh, we're at the waterhole. Everyone gathers here in the afternoon. Oh, I wonder if anyone here wants to join my band. I think you're about to find out. Ah, a guitar. I'm not bad, you know. Yes, and I'm quite a dab hand on the drums. Still something missing, though. Go on, Ellie. What are you waiting for? Me? Uh, OK, then. <laughs> Hi, your trumpeting's really good, Ellie. Yes, groovy. Oh, thanks, everyone. <laughs> See, Ellie, now you can be as noisy as you like. Why don't you all join in with our song? We can all make music. It's easy if you try. Some notes can be low and some notes can be high. Join in with the trumpet, it will be a hoot And hear the noise you can make Toot, 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 toot We can all make music, it's easy if you try Some notes can be low and some notes can be high Join in with the beating drums, the sound will fill the room And hear the noise you can make Boom, 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 boom We can all make music, it's easy if you try. Some notes can be low, and some notes can be high. Join in with the cool guitar, the sound will make you hum. And hear the noise, you can make strum, 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 strum. Making music with your friends is lots of fun. Thanks for all your squiggles. It's time to go now, but come back to get squiggling soon. Keep on squiggling! Bye! My name is Squigglet. I love to draw. A dog, a cat, a mouse, and a whole lot more. So grab your squiggle. Tia, come closer. Boo! <laughs> Did that scare you? No. Let me try again. Boo! <laughs> Maybe I'm just not very scary. Can you think of someone whose job it is to be a little bit scary? Someone who scares the birds? <laughs> a scarecrow! Shall we squiggle our own scarecrow? What kind of line could we use? Let's have a look. <laughs> it's a straight line! Have you got your squiggle pads? And squiggle sticks ready? Now it's time to get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a scarecrow. We'll need straight lines. I love straight lines. Squiggle one with me. We'll start with the bottom of the scarecrow's hat. Put your squiggle stick on your squiggle pad. Ready? Across, across, across. 
What's yours like? Across, across, across. And three straight lines to make the top of his hat. Up, across, down. Let's use a curved line for his face. Another curved line for his smiley mouth. We'll give him two eyes. One, two, three straight lines to make a triangle for his nose. That's a very good scarecrow's face. We'll use a bumpy line for his collar. He'll need a body. Two arms. One. Two. A pole to keep him in the ground. Three buttons. One, two, three. And some straw hands. There. Our scarecrow. Shall we meet him? Say the magic words with me. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make our squiggles come alive. Hiya. I'm Sandy the Scarecrow. Hello there. I'm Squigglet. You haven't seen a cornfield, have you? I should be scaring birds off the farmer's corn. No, but we could squiggle you a cornfield if you like. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle an ear of corn. We'll need a straight line to make the ground. Ready? Across, across. We need another straight line to make the stem of the corn. Going up this time. Let's use a bumpy line for the ear of corn. Bumpy line all the way up and bumpy line all the way down the other side. Why don't you colour your corn in yellow? while I squiggle the rest of the cornfield. There, finished. Oh, this is fantastic. I can't wait to start scaring the birds away. Ah. Here's a bird now, Sandy. A crow. Ah. Uh, hello. My name's Squigglet. Ah. Hello, Squigglet. I'm Katie. Mmm. This corn's delicious. Hey, you can't eat that. I'm going to give you my very best scare. Boo! Ah! Oh, my! There was no need for that. Oh, sorry. But I can't let you eat that corn. Ah! Ah! Mm. Never mind. This bit's just as tasty. Oh, no. I gave her my best scare, and she's still eating the farmer's corn. Maybe she's hungry. What if we gave her something else to eat? Good idea. Let's see what we can find. Are you the farmer? That's me, Farmer Corncob. I'm Squiglet. And this is Sandy. We're trying to find something really tasty to eat. Can you think of anything? I certainly can. A lovely wobbly jelly. <laughs> My favourite. Oh. Mm. oh, maybe Katie the Crow would like jelly too. <laughs> Farmer mm. Corncob, could we have some of your... Oh. That was delicious. <laughs> oh, now how am I going to see if Katie would like jelly more than corn if there's none left? Easy. We can squiggle you a wobbly jelly. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. 
first we'll need a dish to put our jelly on. We can use another straight line for that. Ready? Across, across, across. That's the top of the dish. Then a curved line underneath. Down, curve round, and up. Two straight lines up for the sides of the jelly. One, two. And a wobbly line to join them up. Wobble up and down, up and down, up and down. And last of all, some straight lines to make a pattern. There, one wobbly jelly. What flavour is yours going to be? I'm going to make mine red for strawberry. But you could do blue for blueberry, or yellow for lemon, or even black for blackberry. Oh, thanks, everyone. It looks really tasty. Katie, come and try some jelly. Ah! I hope you like it. Hmm, well, it's very wobbly, and it's a nice red colour. But, bleh, it's not nearly as nice as corn. Oh, I'm going back to the cornfield. Ah! Oh, no. Maybe crows just don't like jelly. Don't worry. There must be something else she'd like. Let's see if we can get a clue from the squiggle pad. Can you spot something Katie might like to peck at? There's Sydney and Lauren. They're putting out some food for the birds. First some seed. Then some slices of apple. Look, there's a bird and it's eating the food. Peck, peck. I think the birds will be back again soon for another yummy snack. Did you spot something tasty for Katie? Oh, yes. <laughs> the birds were really enjoying those treats. But I haven't got any treats, have I? Or a nice table to put them on. Don't worry. We can squiggle you a bird table with some treats on top. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. We'll need lots more straight lines. We can start with the stand. Ready? Two long straight lines going up the middle. Up, up, up. And again. Up, up, up. Now we can use two straight lines to make the base. Join them up. And two more to make it steady. Now two straight lines for the top. And join them together. There! One bird table for Katie! All it needs now is a tasty treat. Let's squiggle an apple. A round line for that. And a little stalk. Why don't you colour your bird table in? I'm going to make my bird table brown with a green apple. There, finished. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks everyone. Come on, let's go and put it in the farmer's garden. <laughs> I hope Katie will like this apple. We'll soon find out. Here she comes. Ah! Oh, what a lovely bird table. And look at the size of that apple. You do like apples, don't you? Like them? I love them. Apples are my favourite. Mmm. Mm. Oh, yes, delicious. 
delicious. Much nicer than corn. She likes apples more than corn. <laughs> now you won't have to scare her anymore either. Oh, it's much more fun feeding the birds than scaring them. Mm, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we all feed the birds? Come on, join in with our song. I'm a bird, I'm a bird, flying around, looking for treats on the ground. I swoop down low and there I see a tasty treat put out for me. Peck, 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 yum, yum, e. A tasty treat in my tum, tum, e. Peck, 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 yum, yum, e. A tasty treat in my tum tum e. I'm a bird, I'm a bird, flying around, looking for treats on the ground. I swoop down low, and there I see a tasty treat put out for me. Peck, 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 yum, yum e. A tasty treat in my tum tum e. <laughs> it's fun being a bird. Thanks for all your squiggles. It's time to go now, but come back to get squiggling soon. Keep on squiggling! Bye! Bye. My name is Squigglet. I love to draw. A dog. <laughs> Here. Can you guess what I'm pretending to be? I'm slow and steady, and I carry my house on my back. <laughs> I'm a tortoise. Shall we squiggle our own tortoise? What sort of line could we use? Let's have a look. It's a curved line. Have you got your squiggle pads? And squiggle sticks ready? Now it's time to get squiggling. Let's all squiggle the tortoise's shell. We'll need a curved line for that. I love curved lines. Squiggle one with me. Put your squiggle stick on your squiggle pad. Ready? Up, curve over and down. What's yours like? Up, curve over and down. That's the top of our tortoise's shell. Now we need a straight line for the bottom. Across and stop. Good. You can use some more curved lines to squiggle a pattern on the shell. Let's draw his head. With two eyes. One, two. And a smiley mouth. He also needs legs. And a little tortoise tail. Great! What a terrific tortoise! Shall we meet him? Say the magic words with me. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make our squiggles come alive. Hello there, I'm Tolu the tortoise.
tortoise. Pleased to meet you, Tulu. I'm Squiglet. It's very nice to meet you too. But I can't stay and chat. I'm rather late for an important race. Oh, would you like us to squiggle where you start the race? That would speed things up a bit, yes. Thank you. No problem. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a road for Tulu to race on. We'll need a curvy line. Ready? Curve up and down, up and down. Now the other side of the road. Another curvy line. One last thing, a straight line across the road. This is the starting line for the race. Why don't you colour your road in while I squiggle the rest of the race course? This way. Oh, thanks, everyone. Where's the fellow I'm supposed to be racing? Here I am, Harry the Hare. I'm ready to race anytime, anywhere. Here we go again. It's Harry the Hare, ready to beat me, just like he always does. Oh, but you can't be sure Harry's going to win, Tulu. Oh, yes, I can. Just look at his rocket powered trainers. I'm ready, I'm ready, ready to race. Those trainers make him super fast. I don't stand a chance. You never know. Today might be your lucky day. Can I come along with you? Yes. It'd be nice to have some company. Racers, take your places. The race is about to start. Isn't it exciting? On your marks, get set. Go! <sighs> see what I mean? I'm wasting my time. Come on, let's see how Tulu gets on. Chance of winning. Hmm? <coughs> Tulu! You've caught up with me! How exciting! I oh, know. Right, let's keep going. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I knew it was too good to be true. Well, there's still plenty of time to catch Harry up. But look at this great big hill. Tortoises move slowly enough as it is without having to climb that. I've had an idea! You don't have to climb that hill. You can float right over the top in a hot air balloon. But I haven't got a hot air balloon. We can squiggle one for you. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a hot air balloon. We can use a round line for the shape of the balloon. Ready? Round. And round, back to the start. There. We need two straight lines underneath for the ropes which hold the basket. And four straight lines to make a square. Across, down, across and up. One basket. We can use our curved line to decorate the balloon. Curve round and down. Curve round and down. And on the other side. I'm going to colour my balloon in red and my basket in brown. What colour are you going to make yours? One hot air balloon! Oh, thanks, everyone. Come on, Tulu. Let's go for a ride over that hill. Ah, 
us, Quiglet. This is fantastic. We're floating right over the hill. Oh. Oh. What's that bird doing? Ah! Oh, no. It's pecked a hole in our balloon. It looks like we're going down. Sorry. What a ride. And look, we've caught up with Harry again. Oh, yes. I'm giving that long-legged hair quite a rise today. Hey, Taloo. Good to see you. Come on. I'll race you to the finish. <coughs> Off he goes. Zoom, zoom. There's no way of ever beating that hair. Don't worry, Taloo. There must be some way of catching him up. Let's see if we can get a clue from the squiggle pad. Can you spot something that might help speed Taloo up? There's Sophie and Daniel. They've got their helmets on. They're on roller skates. The wheels move them along quickly. Wee! Wee! What fun! Aren't they going fast with their roller skates on? Did you spot something to make Tulu faster? What about those roller skates? I wish I had some. No problem. We can squiggle some for you. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a roller skate. We need a curvy line to make the toe. Start at the top. Ready? Down, curve round, up, curve round, and down. We need to join everything up with some straight lines. From the top of the boot, go across, down, and across the bottom. Now we need some round lines for the roller skate's wheels. Curve round, and back to the start. One wheel, and another wheel. Why don't you colour your roller skate in, while I squiggle some more for Tulu? Oh, oh, fantastic! Thanks, everyone. <laughs> no problem. Now, what are you waiting for? Catch that hair. I think I will now. <laughs> Come on! This is a finish we can't miss! <laughs> well, here we are at the finishing line and it's anybody's race! Who do you think is going to win? Harry the Hare is almost at the finishing line but wait a minute! Here comes Tulu the tortoise on his roller skates and, and I don't believe it! Yes! It's Tulu the tortoise in first place! Wow! You beat me! Oh, uh, yes? Sorry about that. Now don't be sorry. I always win and that's no fun at all. It's much better having some real competition. Do you want to race again tomorrow? <laughs> oh, you just try and stop me. <laughs> well done, both of you. That was really exciting. Shall we have another race? Join in with our song. I'm a tortoise, as you probably know. And everywhere I go, I go slow. On your marks, get set, go. Should we go fast? Should we go slow? If we go slow, we might be late. So let's put on our roller skates and skate and skate. Let's skate. I'm a fast hair, yeah, lickety split. And everywhere I go, I go quick. Let's go. 
On your marks, get set, go. Should we go fast? Should we go slow? If we go slow, we might be late. So let's put on our roller skates and skate. Skate. And skate. Skate. Let's skate. Racing with your friends is fun. Thanks for all your squiggles. It's time to go now, but come back to get squiggling soon. Keep on squiggling! Bye! Bye. My name is Squigglet. I love to draw. A dog, <laughs> a cat, <laughs> a mouse, and a whole lot more. So grab your squiggles. Here. Oh! 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 Wow! Those are loud footsteps. <laughs> Someone must have very big feet. Shall we squiggle them and see who they belong to? What sort of line could we use? Let's have a look. <laughs> Line. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Now it's time to get squiggling! We can start with the toes of one of those big feet. We'll need a bumpy line for that. Bumpy lines are great! Squiggle one with me. Put your squiggle stick on your squiggle pad. Five bumps for five toes. Up and round. Up and round, up and round, up and round, and up and round. What's your bumpy line like? Up and round, up and round, up and round, up and round, and up and round. Now for the rest of the foot. Across and up. Last of all, a big, long leg. Why don't you colour yours in while I squiggle the other one? Those are two very big feet. Let's see who they belong to. Say the magic words with me. One, two, Three, four, five. Let's make our squiggles come alive. Hello down there. I'm Hyacinth. Pleased to meet you, Hyacinth. I'm Squigglet. <laughs> it must be wonderful being so tall. Oh, Hyacinth, what's the matter? <laughs> it isn't wonderful being a giant at all. You should see where I live for a start. A playroom full of toys. A playroom full of toys? That sounds great, doesn't it? Why don't we have a look? Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! Let's all squiggle one of Hyacinth's toys. What about a car? We'll need a bumpy line for that. Ready? One bump, up, over and round. A bigger bump, Round and down. And another smaller bump. Round and down. Let's draw a straight line underneath. There. 
That's the body of the car. Then two curves for the wheels. One. Two. Some straight lines for the windows. One at the front. And one at the back. Brum, brum, brum! What a great toy car! Why don't you colour it in? While I squiggle the rest of Hyacinth's playroom. That's my playroom. This looks lovely, Hyacinth. You've got lots of toys. Yes. So what's the matter? <sighs> well, look around. There's no one here to play with. Oh, I see. But there must be lots of children who'd like to play with you. No, no one in the village wants to. Really? Well, why don't we go there and see? Some children. <gasps> Wait, Hyacinth just wants to play. <sighs> See, they're scared of me. If they spent some time with you, they'd see how nice you are. I know. Why don't we invite them to a picnic? Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> We could use my hanky as a picnic blanket. Oh. oh, there. Oh, but we don't have any food to put on it. Don't worry, we can squiggle some. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a giant cake. Remember that bumpy line? We can squiggle another one for the icing. Ready? Up and down, up and down, and all the way over the top to make a big curve. That's the icing on our cake. Good. We need some straight lines for the rest of the cake. Two for the sides. And one for the bottom. Last of all, let's put a round cherry on the top. What colour is your icing going to be? You can colour it in while I squiggle the rest of the food. There! Doesn't it look delicious? Oh! Thanks, everyone! The children will love this! Here they come. I better hide. <laughs> Hello there. I'm Squiglet. Hello, Squiglet. Oh, look. A picnic. And everything's huge. Oh, this apple's as big as my head. And this jelly's like a bouncy castle. These buns are as big as cushions. But much tastier. <laughs> I wonder who left it all here. <laughs> it was a present from me. <gasps> Wait, Hyacinth only wanted to have a picnic with you. Oh, they're all still scared of me. I'm sure there must be some game they can play with you. But what? Let's see if we can get a clue from the squiggle pad. Playgrounds are fun. You can go on the swings and the slide. Up the steps to the top. Then we down to the bottom. We here I come. We oh. 
They look like they were having fun. I'd love to play on the swings and slide, but I'm too big. Poor Hyacinth. Wait, I've got an idea. The slide. Let's all squiggle a nice big bumpy one. We can use a bumpy line again. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's start at the top of the slide. Ready? Round and down, round and down, round and down to the bottom. That's the bit you slide down. And now some straight lines. Here. 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 I'm going to make mine yellow. What colour are you going to make yours? That's it. One bumpy slide. Oh, it's a very nice slide. Thanks, everyone. But how will it stop the children being afraid of me? <laughs> You'll see. Come on. Children, I'll hide quickly. <laughs> Hello, Squiglet. <gasps> wow, a slide! But there aren't any steps. How do we get up? Easy. My friend can lift you to the top. Who'd be big enough to do that? I'll show you if you promise not to be nervous. OK, then. Hyacinth! Hello. Oh. Um, I'd like to go on the slide, please. Of course. Oh! Whee! <laughs> that looks like fun! It is! It's brilliant! <laughs> oh. Hello. Would you like a go too? Yes, please. Whee! Look at that! Hyacinth has lots of friends now. It's fun being a giant after all. Why don't we all be giants? Join in with our song. Can you jump a river in a single bound? Can you see the countryside for miles around? You're a giant. You're a giant. Do you roar when you snort? Do you shake the floor? You're a great big giant. Try and be a giant with great big feet. Bend down, say hello to everyone you meet. You're a giant. You're a giant. Do you shake the floor? You're a great big giant! for all your squiggles. It's time to go now, but come back to get squiggling soon. Keep on squiggling! Bye! My name is Squiglet. I love to draw. A dog, a cat, a mouse, and a whole lot more. So grab your squiggles.
Albert here. Can you guess what I am? I'm walking sideways. And look, two snappy claws. Snap, snap. I'm a crab. Shall we squiggle our own crab? What sort of line could we use? Let's have a look. <laughs> It's a round line! Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Now it's time to get squiggling! Let's all squiggle a crab. We'll need a round line for that. I love round lines. Squiggle one with me. Put your squiggle stick on your squiggle pad. Let's all start with our crab shell. Round and back to the beginning. What's yours like? Round and round and back to the beginning. To really make it look like a shell, let's squiggle a spiral inside. There's our crab shell. Now we need a curved line to draw the crab's head. Two eyes and a smiley mouth. Last of all, his claws pointing out of his shell. We'll need straight lines for those. One. Two. And for the snappy bits on the end, let's use a curved line with a straight line across. Curved line with a straight line across. And again. A few legs to help him move. One, two, three, four. This crab is a hermit crab. Shall we meet him? Say the magic words with me. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make our squiggles come alive. Hello, I'm Herman. Hello, Herman. I'm Squiglet. That's a very nice shell. Uh, yes, but it's also uh, too small for me. It used to fit just right, but I've grown. Oh, dear. Mm, we hermit crabs always grow out of our homes. Uh, oh, I really need to find a new one. I'm sure we can help. Why don't we see if we can find a new home for you on your beach? Oh, yes. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! Let's all squiggle a beach together. We'll need that round line again to squiggle the sun. Ready? Curve round and round and back to the start again. There! Now a straight line for the beach. And a wavy one for the sea. Why don't you colour your sun in yellow? And squiggle some lovely blue sky too. Ooh, nice beach. But I can't see anything I'd like to live in. There must be something. Oh, hello little seal. I like your armbands. Me too. Oh, thanks. But I don't need them anymore. I've passed all my swimming tests. So, I can swim without them now. Congratulations. Yes. Hey, Herman, those armbands have an inside, just like your shell. Well, if you'd like one, go ahead. I'm off for a swim. Bye. Bye. Why don't you try one on, Herman? Oh. I don't want everyone to see me getting changed. Have you got your shell off yet, Herman? <laughs> that looks great! 
Really? Oh, it's such a comfortable fit, too. Much more roomy than my old shell. Just need to shift it a little bit. Uh, careful, Herman. Your claws are quite sharp. Ah! Uh, everyone can see my pants. Come on. Maybe we can find something else for you to live in. But sun and sand, it's beautiful. Hmm, yes, but I still need somewhere new to live. And you can't live in sand, can you? Uh, maybe you can. If you live in a sand castle. A sand castle? Yes, and we can squiggle one for you. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a sandcastle together. We can start with the top. We'll need our round line again. Ready? Curve round and round and back to the start. Great! Now we need straight lines for the sides. One, two and a curved line at the bottom. A big curve for our door. And a little pole on top for our flag. That's a triangle. There, it's done! Why don't you colour your sand castle in? I'm going to make mine yellow. What colour are you going to make yours? There we are. One lovely sandcastle. Oh, <laughs> thanks, everyone. <laughs> oh, yes. This is wonderful. And you've got a lovely view, too. I know. The ocean right on my doorstep. The sound of the waves is very relaxing. As long as they're not too big. What? Like that one? Watch out, Herman! What? Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> Herman, are you all right? Mm. Oh, dear. Thanks, everyone. But I can't live in a house that gets swept away every time a wave comes in. Oh. We'll have to find you a new home. Come on! <laughs> Herman? We thought some ice cream might cheer Herman up. Ah! Ice cream for a sad crab? No problem. Ah! Cheerful chocolate and laughing lemon. Ah! There you go, Herman. Enjoy! Feeling any better? Hmm, a bit. Hmm. This ice cream is making me feel loads better. Hmm, yum. Mm. You know, Herman, mm. that cone's sort of the same shape as your shell, only bigger. Oh, you're right. Maybe I could live in it. Wait here. <laughs> ah. huh. Really comfy. Great. <laughs> I wish I had a bit of ice cream left to celebrate. Still, one little nibble of this won't hurt. Hmm. Oh, maybe I'll have just another little tiny bit. Mm. Uh, Herman, be careful. Mm. Oh, yummy. Mm. Ah. Mm. Mm. Ah. Hey, Herman, nice pants. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> well, maybe I should just face it. I'm never going to find a new home. Don't worry, Herman. Let's see if we can get a clue from the squiggle pad. Can you spot a new home for Herman? Xanthia and Levi 
are collecting shells on the beach. That's a big one. They're putting them in their buckets. Shells come in all different shapes and sizes. Small, medium and large. There were lots of different size shells, weren't there? I could still live in a shell, just a bigger one. Yes. Huh? Squiglet, that's brilliant. Except there aren't any bigger shells, are there? Anywhere. Maybe not. <gasps> we can squiggle one for you. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a big shell. We can use our round line again. Ready? Curve round and round and back to the start. There! And for the rest of our shell, let's draw some curved lines above our round shape. One, two, three. I'm going to make mine green. What colour are you going to make yours? There! Our shell is ready! Thanks, everyone! Herman's got lots of room to move around in his shell now. Why don't we all try moving like a crab? Join him with our song! I'm a crab, I'm a crab I'm a happy crab With a snap and a snip I dance and skip by the edge of the ocean tide As I dance from side to side since I got a shell that's roomy, I'm no longer sad or gloomy. I feel cheerful, I feel fabby. I'm a crab, but I'm not crabby. I'm a crab, I'm a crab. I'm a happy crab. With a snap and a snip, I dance and skip by the edge of the ocean tide. As I dance from side to side By the edge of the ocean tide <laughs> Being a crab's fun! Thanks for all your squiggles. It's time to go now, but come back to get squiggling soon. Keep on squiggling! Bye! Bye. My name is Squiglet. I love to draw a dog, a cat, a mouse, and a whole lot more. So grab your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks and draw along with me. It's fun when you get squiggling. Squiggling! <laughs> everyone, Squiglet here. Can you guess what I am? I'm made out of metal. My fingers are metal. My knees are metal. <laughs> I'm a robot. Shall we squiggle our own robot? What sort of line could we use? Let's have a look. A straight line. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Now it's time to get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a robot. We'll need lots of straight lines. Straight lines are brilliant. Squiggle one with me. We'll need four straight lines for his head. Put your squiggle stick on your squiggle pad. Across. Down, 
across and up. There. What's yours like? Across, down, across and up. Great! Now another square for his tummy. Some straight lines for the robot arms. One. Two. And legs. Let's give him eyes. One. Two. An antennae. And a mouth. What a fantastic robot! Shall we meet him? Say the magic words with me. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make our squiggles come alive. I'm Ralph the Robot. Hello, Ralph. I'm Squiglet. You must be ever so strong, being made out of metal. Oh, yes. And busy, too. Robots are always busy. I've got three jobs today. Time for job number one. I need to get to Rivet Road, the longest road in Robot World. Don't worry. You won't be late. We can squiggle it for you. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! Let's all squiggle Rivet Road. We can start with the pavement. Ready? One straight line. Now we're going to draw a robot block of flats. We need a long straight line going up, a shorter one across the top, and another long straight line down. We need to give our flat some windows. Across, down, across and up. There's one window and I'll draw another three to make four. We can draw a rectangle shape for the door. With a little handle and a post box. Why don't you colour your flats in while I draw the rest of Rivet Road? My first job is to deliver letters to all the robots who live here. I'm a post robot. Uh, uh. Are your legs all right, Ralph? Uh, uh. They're a bit stiff. But I must deliver these letters. One for Rashid. Uh, ow. One for Roberta. Uh, ow. You don't sound very happy, Ralph. No. Uh, my arms are a bit stiff, too. Only 400 letters to go. Oh, no. It's time for my second job. I'll have to come back later. We'd better go and see if we can help. This is job number two, being a robot shopkeeper. Here are your first customers. Hello, Ralph. Hello. What would you like today? Toys, please. Toys. There they are. On the top shelf. Ralph's a bit stiff today. It's okay. I can use my extendable arm. Oh no, that's gone stiff too. You mean we can't have our toys? Don't worry, I've got an idea. We can squiggle you something to help you reach the toys. A ladder. A ladder? Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. 
Let's all squiggle a ladder. We'll need some straight lines for the sides. Ready? Down. And down. And down. And down. And let's join our lines up. There. We need lots of short straight lines for the bits you put your feet on. They're called rungs. Across, across, all the way down. I'm going to make mine green. What colour are you going to make yours? And that's our ladder. Oh, thanks everyone. Ow. 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 Ralph's making a lot of squeaking Ow. noises, isn't he? Ow. 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 There you are. Thanks, Ralph. Bye. All that squeaking must mean your arms and legs need some oil on them. So they'll move more easily. Oh, no. It's time for my third job. Well, let's get you oiled first. It won't take long. Here we are. Just the place to get some oil. A garage. Hello, I'm Rory, the robot mechanic. What's the problem? Hello, it's my friend Ralph. His arms and legs need some oil. No problem. In you go. Oh, that tickles. <laughs> What's happening, Rory? It's my special oiling machine. Almost done. Oh, it feels lovely. All oiled. <laughs> yes, and no more squeaking. Thanks, Rory. See you later. Great. Now, what's your third job, Ralph? I'm a lollipop robot. I help children cross the road. With my big lollipop stop sign. Oh, hello again. Hello. Can you help us cross the road, please? Of course. That's my job. Oh, dear. It's raining. Ralph, the lollipop robot, works in all weathers. Rain or shine. Stop, please. Thanks. Bye. You can put the stop sign down now. No, I can't. I've gone stiff again. It's the rain. It's making you go rusty. Rusty? What's that? It's when metal goes all rough and brown. It makes robot arms and legs go stiff. Uh. Oh, no. But I'm a very busy robot. Don't worry. There must be something we can do. Let's see if we can get a clue from the squiggle pad. Can you spot a way to keep Ralph dry from the rain? Here's Lucy. It's raining and she's put her umbrella up. That'll keep her dry. It's fun splashing around in the puddles. Splash, 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 splash. It's a good job Lucy's got her umbrella. Did you spot something to keep Ralph dry? An umbrella. I could be out in the rain and not get wet. But I haven't got one. No problem. We can squiggle you one. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle an umbrella. We can start with the handle. We'll need our straight line again for that. Ready? Down, down, with a little curve on the end. Then lots of little curves for the bottom of our umbrella. And a big curve for the top. Up, curve over and down. 
with a few straight lines down the middle. I'm going to make mine red. What colour are you going to make yours? There's our umbrella. Oh, thanks, everyone. But I'm too stiff to lift it. Oh, no! Don't worry. I've got my special oil squirter. Thanks, Rory. Now, if it rains, I won't go stiff. I can be here all day, rain or shine, and do all my jobs properly. That's great, Ralph. Would you like to have a go at being a robot? Join in with our song. Metal fingers, metal feet, move them to that robot beat. Move those shiny robot toes, even move your robot nose. Everybody come and move, come and join the robot group. Hey, it's cool, it's oily smooth, come and do the robot groove. Every nut and every screw, find a groovy thing to do. Every bolt and every spring, come on, do that robot thing. Everybody come and move, come and join the robot groove. Hey, it's cool, it's oily smooth. Come and do the robot groove. It's cool, it's oily smooth. Come and do the robot groove. <laughs> Being a robot is fun. Thanks for all your squiggles. It's time to go now, but come back to get squiggling soon. Keep on squiggling. Bye! Bye. My name is Squiglet. I love to draw a dog, a cat, a mouse, and a whole lot more. So grab your squiggle. Here. Ribbit, ribbit, croak, croak. Do you hear that croaking? What sort of a creature sounds like that? Ribbit, 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 ribbit. It's green and hops. It's a frog. Shall we squiggle our own frog? What sort of line could we use? Let's have a look. <laughs> Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Now it's time to get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a frog. We can start with his eyes. We'll need a round line for them. I love round lines. Put your squiggle stick on your squiggle pad. Ready? Curve round and round and back to the start again. There. What's yours like? Curve round and round and back to the start again. Great! Now squiggle one more round line for his other eye. And a dot inside each one. That's two froggy eyes! Squiggle another round line all the way round them to make his head. We'll give him Two hoppy back legs. One here. And one here. And two little front legs. Here. And here. Two dots for his nose. And a big smiley mouth. There, one froggy. Shall we meet him? Say the magic words with me. 
One, two, three, four, five. Let's make our squiggles come alive. Hello, I'm Freddy the Frog. Pleased to meet you, Freddy. I'm Squiglet. It must be fun being a frog, with all that hopping. Uh, I suppose so, but I'm not sure I really am a frog. Ribbit. I had a spell put on me, you see. I think I used to be something else, Grog. I just can't remember what. Oh, well, where do you live? That might give us a clue. In a little pond. But I'm not sure how to get back there. Easy. We can squiggle it for you. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a pond. Remember the round line we squiggled earlier? Ready? Curve round and round and back to the start again. There. Frogs love lily pads. Let's draw two of these using our round line again. And with some straight lines in the middle. Ribbit. Ribbit. Croak, croak, croak. Why don't you colour your pond in? While I squiggle the rest of the pond. Oh, yes! This is the pond where I live. Ribbit. Does it remind you of what you used to be? Um, nope. It just makes me think of hopping and swimming. Grog. Oh, look. We've got company. A princess. Hmm, a princess. Now that reminds me of something. Oh, my ball! <gasps> Don't worry, Princess. I'll get it. Ribbit. Oh, that was my favourite ball. How annoying. Oh, oh, Princess, wait. Oh, dear, she's gone. Ribbit. Here's your ball, Princess. Princess? I don't think she heard you, Freddy. She was too upset. Oh, she must have gone back to the palace. It's funny, but seeing that princess reminded me of something. Rock. Something about what I was before I was turned into a frog. Well, perhaps she can give you a clue. Why don't you take her ball back and ask her? Ribbit. I'd love to, but the palace is miles away and I don't know how to get there. No problem. We can squiggle the palace bus. That'll get you there in no time. Oh! Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a bus. We can start with the wheels. We'll need our round line for those. Squiggle one with me. Ready? Curve round and round and back to the start again to make a circle. Now we need another one at the back. Let's put two more little circles inside our wheels. Now for the bus. A bus is a rectangular shape. We'll need some straight lines for that. Across. Down. Back across. And up. And what about some windows? I'm going to make my bus red. What colour are you going to make yours? There! One royal bus! Ribbit! Oh, fantastic. Thanks, everyone. I'll be at the palace in no time. Really? Hey, wait for me! Really? 
Grab it. A beautiful palace. Time to meet that princess, Ribbit. Good luck, Freddy. Sorry, Mr. Frog, but I can't let you in unless you're wearing a costume. A costume? That's right. Oh dear. Hello there. Come on through. Yeehaw! Hey, he let them in all right, Ribbit. But how am I going to give the princess her ball back if he won't let me in? Grog. What kind of costume do you think I need? Ribbit. I'm not sure, Freddy. Let's see if we can get a clue from the squiggle pad. See if you can spot something for Freddy to wear. Wow! It's the fancy dress box. I wonder what the children will put on. Matthew's putting on a space suit. Claire's dressing as a cowgirl. And Thomas is dressing as a prince. What a lovely crown. A perfect crown for a prince. Did you spot a costume for Freddy? I rather like that prince costume myself. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit. Perfect. You can go as a prince. Ribbit. Except I don't have a crown. No problem. We can squiggle you one. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a crown. Ready? We can start with a straight line to make the bottom. We need two more straight lines going up for the sides. One, two. And crowns have pointy tops. We can use a zigzag line for that all the way across. That's our crown. Let's decorate it with a big jewel, one in the middle. We can use our round line again to make a circle. And let's add some more jewels on the top. My crown's gold, so I'm going to colour it in yellow. And my jewels are red like rubies. What colour are you going to make yours? There, one lovely crown. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, thanks everyone. Let's see if I can get into the palace now. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh. Nice costume, Mr. Frog. Come on in. Great, thanks. Ribbit. Come on, I want to see what happens. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, I can't see the princess anywhere. Uh, there she is. Oh, yes. Grog. Excuse me a moment. Ribbit. Ribbit. Hello, Princess. I think you may have dropped this. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Hey, that's magic. It certainly is. Of course. That's what I was before I had that spell put on me. I'm not Freddy the Frog at all. I'm Prince Freddy. Your kiss must have broken the spell, Princess. Yes, that was lucky. Very lucky. And now that I'm a prince again, may I have this dance? Of course. But I hope you remember a bit about being a frog. We're doing the hoppy dance next. Why don't we all do the hoppy dance? Join in with our song. Little green frog going for a hop From riverbank to lily pad Looking out for flies with his froggy eyes Flicking out his tongue Yum yum Come on say it, ribbit, ribbit Come on say it, croak, croak, croak Come 
one say it ribbit ribbit that's how you talk to froggy folk little green frog going for a swim leaps from a lily pad dives right in splash splish down amongst the fish kicks out his legs swish swish Come on, say it, ribbit, ribbit. Come on, say it, croak, croak, croak. Come on, say it, ribbit, ribbit. That's how you talk to froggy folk. <laughs> it's fun being a frog. Thanks for all your squiggles. It's time to go now, but come back to get squiggling soon. Keep on squiggling. Bye. My name is Squiglet. I love to draw a dog, a cat, a mouse, and a whole lot more. So grab your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks. Everyone, Squiglet here. <laughs> Did you hear that? They sound very happy, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel like laughing too. There's an animal that sounds like it laughs a lot. Do you know what it is? <laughs> a laughing hyena. Shall we squiggle our own laughing hyena? What sort of line could we use? Let's have a look. <laughs> it's a curved line. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Now it's time to get squiggling. A laughing hyena is a kind of dog. We can start with his head. We'll need a curved line for that. Curved lines are great. Squiggle one with me. Put your squiggle stick on your squiggle pad. Go down, curve under and up. What's yours like? Down, curve under and up. Now we need two straight lines. One going up and the other across. Let's use another curved line to make his body. Down, curve round and up the other side for his tummy. Some straight lines for his legs and curved lines for his tail. Two curved ears Two eyes Another curve for his nose And a smiley mouth Good! And laughing hyenas like this one have lovely orange spots all over their backs Give him lots of spots There! Would you like to meet him? Say the magic words with me. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make our squiggles come alive. <laughs> Hello, I'm Harry. Harry the hyena. <laughs> Hello, Harry. I'm Squiglet. You really are a laughing hyena, aren't you? What's so funny? Everything! <laughs> I wish I could stop laughing sometimes. <laughs> My friend, Horace the Warthog, is coming for dinner later and he's really serious. <laughs> I need to stop laughing in time for his visit. <laughs> what am I going to 
going to do? You can practice not laughing by going to a place where you have to be quiet. A library. <laughs> a library? We can squiggle one for oh. you. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! A library is a quiet place with lots of books to read. So let's all squiggle a book. We can use two small curved lines to make the top and bottom of the book spine. Ready? One here, down, curve up. And another one here, down, curve up. Finish the rest of the spine by drawing two straight lines. There. Now for the front of the book. Three straight lines. Across. Down. Across. Great! We can squiggle some more straight lines at the top for the pages. Why don't you colour your book in while I squiggle the rest of the library? <laughs> Shh, Harry. Sit down uh -huh. here and read one of these books. Oh, yes. Good idea. I like reading. <laughs> it seems to be working. Harry stopped laughing. <laughs> oh, the pictures in this book. <laughs> They're really, really funny. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here comes the librarian. Shh. If you can't stop making a noise, I'm afraid you'll have to go outside. Sorry. Come on, Harry. We'd better go. <laughs> oh, Squiglet, I'm worn out from all this laughing. I've got to stop in time for Horace's visit. Huh? Hey, what's that noise? <laughs> it's music. Oh, it's so sad. You've stopped laughing. <laughs> yes, but it's not really going to help. I can't take the pig playing the violin home with me, can I? We can squiggle a violin for you. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! Remember the curved lines we drew earlier? Let's start in the middle with two small curves. Ready? And another one here, the other way round. Great! Let's join them together with two big curves. One here and one here. That's the body of our violin. We just need two straight lines for the neck. With four straight lines at the top. And four lines at the bottom here. And a few more straight lines for the strings. Let's decorate it with some more curvy lines. One here and one here. To play a violin, you need a bow. Let's use some straight lines for this. I'm going to make mine blue. What colour are you going to make yours? And it's done. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. And now I can stop myself laughing whenever I want. Oh, Harry, that's beautiful. And so sad. <laughs> I don't believe it. I even play music that makes me laugh. <laughs> oh. It's almost time for Horace to come to dinner. <laughs> and I'm still laughing. Uh, he's so serious. What am oh. I going to do? Don't worry, Harry. 
Let's see if we can get a clue from the squiggle pad. Can you spot something to help Harry stop laughing? This is Remy. He's helping his mum make dinner. He's peeling an onion. Take all the skin off. What's wrong with mum? Oh, the chopped onion's making mum's eyes water. Dry your eyes. That's better. Onions make you cry. Did you spot the onions? Peeling onions makes you sniffle and cry. <laughs> yes, and when you're sniffling and crying, you can't laugh. Exactly. Peeling onions will stop you laughing. I've just remembered something. <laughs> Horace really likes cheese and onion tart. Brilliant. You can make him one for dinner. Yes. Oh, oh except I haven't got any onions. No problem. We can squiggle you on. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. We'll need another curved line for our onion. Ready? One that curves down, round to the bottom, and up the other side. It needs some little lines at the bottom to make the roots and some curved lines inside. I'm going to colour my onion yellow. What colour are you going to make yours? A lovely onion. Perfect for a cheese and onion tart. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I'd better get home and start cooking. Horace will be there any minute. <laughs> OK, let's go. Your cheese and onion tart looks good so far. <laughs> yes, I just need the onion. <laughs> oh, I hope this works. <laughs> I think it's doing the trick. <laughs> this is wonderful. <laughs> Hello, it's Horace. I'm here. I say, Harry, what on earth's the matter? You're not your usual cheerful self. No, but you're so serious. I didn't think you'd want me laughing all the time. I spend all day with serious old warthogs. That's why I like visiting you. Your laughing cheers me up. <laughs> now that's funny. Oh, yes. I suppose it is. <laughs> <laughs> why don't we all have a good laugh together? Join in with our song. Ha, 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 he, 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 chuckle, chuckle, ha, ha, tee, he, he. <laughs> Let's laugh together, let's wriggle and giggle and jiggle our tummies with a ha, 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 ha. <laughs> he, 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 <laughs> chuckle, chuckle, ha, ha, tee, he, he. <laughs> Let's laugh together, let's chortle and snottle and tickle our tummies with a ha, 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 <laughs> he, 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 chuckle, chuckle, ha, ha, tee, he, he, ha, 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 he, 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 chuckle, chuckle, ha, ha, tee, he, he, <laughs> I can see why you like coming here, Horace. It really is a laugh a minute. Thanks for all your squiggles. It's time to go now, but come back to get squiggling soon. Keep on squiggling! Bye! Bye. <laughs> Yo!
Here. Bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. Do you know what I'm pretending to be today? Something that flies and makes this noise. Bzzz. I'm a bee. Shall we squiggle our own bee? What kind of line could we use? Let's have a look. <laughs> A straight line. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Now it's time to get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a bee. We'll need a straight line for his stripes. I love straight lines. We'll start with our bee's body. Let's use a round line. Put your squiggle stick on your squiggle pad. Round we go. And back to the start. Time for our straight line to make the bee's stripes. Down and down. What's yours like? Down and down. Let's do the rest of the stripes. Down, down. Down, down. One stripey bee's body. Give him two eyes. One, two, antennae. Legs. Wings. And a smiley mouth. A lovely stripey bee. Shall we meet him? Say the magic words with me. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make our squiggles come alive. To meet you, Bob. I'm Squigglet. Have you seen any other bees round here, Squigglet? Um, no. I'm afraid not. Have you? Oh, it's just that I'm used to being with lots of other bees. That's okay. We can squiggle your beehive. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a beehive. We'll need our straight lines again. Let's start with one across the top for the roof. All the way across. Now, two more straight lines for the sides. One. Two. Good. We need one more straight line for the bottom. That's a good shape for a beehive. We need some more straight lines going across. And some little square feet. I'm going to colour my beehive purple. What colour are you going to make yours? Oh, that's fantastic. Thanks, everyone. Zzz. Hello, hello Bob. Bob. Oh, hello. Squiglet, these are my friends, Betty and Barbara. Nice to meet you, Betty and Barbara. Hello, Squiglet. 
We're trying to find some nectar. We need it to make honey. Yes, so the queen bee will know what good bees we are. Making honey. That sounds like fun. We've never actually made honey before, so we don't know what nectar looks like. Some of the other bees get their nectar from a garden. Come on, let's find a garden. <laughs> It's a beautiful garden. We're bound to find some nectar here. Oh, we'll look over there. Come on, Barbara. Ooh. Come in, Betty. Ooh. Where shall we look, Bob? Ooh. What about inside this watering can? Ooh. Any luck? Ooh. No, just water in there. Hmm. Where else? Ooh. Maybe there's some up in this tree. I'll buzz up and have a look. Ooh. No nectar here. Ooh. I don't think there's any nectar in this garden. How are we going to make any honey without nectar? What if we squiggle you a jar of honey? Maybe that'll help. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. We'll need lots more straight lines to squiggle a jar of honey. Let's start with the lid. Ready? Across. Down. Back across. And up. There. That's the lid. Now we need the jar underneath. Start a little way in from the lid. Down for one side. Across for the bottom. And up the other side. And two straight lines across the middle to make the label. One. Two. Why don't we colour the honey inside a lovely yellowy golden colour? Yummy, scrummy honey! Ooh. Thanks, everyone. It certainly smells like good honey. But it's already been made. We can't get any nectar from it. Maybe there's a clue on the label. Ooh. Oh, look. There's a picture of a bee sitting on a flower. So maybe the nectar's in the flower. Let's find some. But these only have tiny buds on them. No flowers at all. Oh, making honey's trickier than I thought. How are we going to show the queen bee what good bees we are now? Don't worry, Bob. Let's see if we can get a clue from the squiggle pad. Can you spot which flower Bob can get nectar from? These flower buds haven't opened yet. The petals are closed. In time, they'll grow and open up into beautiful flowers. The bees love finding nectar inside open flowers. Mmm, yummy! They'll collect the nectar and take it back to the hive to make honey. Did you spot which flowers the bee found nectar in? The open flowers. You can get lots of nectar out of those. But waiting for the flowers to open will take ages. I wanted to make some honey now. We can squiggle you a lovely big flower that's already open. Oh, yes! Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle an open flower. We'll start with the stem. We'll need our straight lines for that. Ready? One. 
One, two. Now for some petals. We need curved lines for those. One, two, three, four, five. And a circle in the middle. That's where bees find their nectar. What colour are you going to make yours? There! That's a lovely flower for our buzzy bees. Wow! Thanks, everyone. Barbara, Betty, come and have a look at this. Mm. Oh, yes! That one's bound to have lots of nectar in it. Let's tuck in and take some back to the hive. I'll meet you there. I wonder where they are. Hello, Squiglet. We brought our nectar to be made into honey and here it is. And here comes the queen bee. I hope she likes it. I'm sure she will. I'm here to taste the new honey. It certainly smells like good honey. Mm. Oh, yes. That really is awfully good. Who found the nectar that made this honey? We did, Your Majesty. Very well done. I'm going to make you my official royal nectar finders. Really? really? Oh, yes. Your honey is the best. <laughs> Yay! Oh, Squiglet, thanks so much for your help. You're welcome, Bob. And thank you for all your help, too. Why don't we all see what it's like to be a bee? Join in with our song. <laughs> Buzz, buzz, like a bumblebee. Buzz, 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 come along with me. Buzz, 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 rub your tum, tum, tum. Cos we all know where honey comes from. Sway like a flower in the wind. Buzz like a bee with tiny wings. To find a flower, with me We're looking for nectar To make honey Buzz, buzz, buzz Like a bumblebee Buzz, buzz, buzz Come along with me Buzz, buzz, buzz Rub your tum, tum, tum Cos we all know Where honey comes from Bzzz. Buzzing like a bee's fun Thanks for all your squiggles. It's time to go now, but come back to get squiggling soon. Keep on squiggling! Bye! Bye.